How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink here, and in this video we're going to be talking about printing with Silk PLA. Silk PLA is a pretty interesting material that can make models that have a very, very high shine to them. eNotepad sent me two spools of this material to play around with and share my thoughts, including one rainbow and one black, so in this video we're going to be taking a look at both of them. We're going to test out the black Silk PLA Plus first, and it almost looks gray, it's got a very, very low shine to it, so I'm excited to see how it prints out. I had a lot of requests on my Rose Go first impressions video to 3D print a tabletop mini. So for this video, I'm going to be 3D printing an ogre from the Lost Adventures 3D printable tabletop gaming set. Silk PLA behaves a little bit differently than a standard PLA, and you'll notice when you're loading it, it will pull back on itself with an almost elastic-like quality. As you can imagine, this means you'll want to slow down the overall speed of the print and increase your cooling to make sure that all overhangs print successfully without curling back on themselves. The first printer we're going to use to test out the Silk PLA is the Rose Go by Beganova. The Rose Go is a machine with a small build volume that's optimized for printing highly detailed parts at very thin layer resolutions. This will let us test out printing the Mini at scale and also see how the material handles this challenge. Here's the model in the Rose Go slicer, and we can see if we go into a slice preview, we've captured a lot of the fine detail even at 0.12mm resolution, so I think that's going to be a good compromise between speed and print quality. As expected, some of the steeper overhangs curled up a little bit, but generally speaking, I was really impressed with the 0.12mm layer resolution. The black silk PLA looks flawless. When you rotate the model around, you can see a sheen, and I printed the model again using the rainbow PLA and found the same thing. This model looks really, really good, and all the detail was captured even at this small scale. As expected, some of the steeper overhangs looked a little bit rough from the filament curling during printing. You can see this on the bottom of the club pretty clearly. Overhangs aside, I was really impressed with the amount of detail I was able to get even at a 0.12mm layer height. The chain links both on the ogre's necklace and wrapped around the club are clearly visible, and just generally speaking, for an FDM print I'm really impressed with the quality. So now that we've tried the black silk PLA, it's time to try out the rainbow silk PLA. This material has a fairly quick transition, so the denser a model and the larger it is, the quicker it'll change colors. I printed this out on the Mingda Rock 3, and I actually scaled the ogre up to 250% of its original size. This way I was able to get a little bit of a transition during printing. Again, just like on the Rose Go, you can see this material has a really clean shine to it. I printed this model at a 0.2mm layer height, and it's also pretty sparse, meaning it's fairly hollow, so the color transitions from a dark green to a light green, but if it had been denser or completely solid, it would have transitioned colors much faster. I really like this effect, and I like that I can determine the amount of change based on the level of density. Overall, we still have some areas like under the club where there's a little bit of overhang issues, but the detail on the model, especially on the face and on the club, it looks really good. If you're interested in tabletop gaming, I'm including a link to the Lost Adventure Kickstarter in the description below. The Kickstarter's already been fully funded, so at this point you can put in a late pledge and get access to all of these awesome printable models. I also highly recommend checking out Danny the 3D Printing DM's YouTube channel. He has done a lot of really cool stuff with 3D printed tabletop minis. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.